got an email from a friend of the ministry and um, and just I'm not going to go over all these articles because you can just look this stuff up it's all over the place now but this whole thing of transhumanism um, how close we are to the mark of the beast you know just going to show you a couple articles that they link to here it says cyborgs at work employees getting implanted with microchips all right April 4th 2017 so that's today um, super seals elite units pursue brain stimulating technologies um, again I used to be in ministry with a brother that was a sergeant in the Marine Corps and he had formerly sergeant in the Marine Corps and uh, he told me he said that special ops guys were carrying special cards that actually had microchips in them so that they could be tracked and of course you lose your card so you, you get implanted it's how close we are to this whole thing how upgrading humans will become the next billion dollar industry homo deuce okay <laughs> it's insanity um, science daily stretching the boundaries of neural implants you know so when you, you, you read about the Bible it talks about the mark of the beast being in the forehead as well as a pun later on Revelation chapter 20 Revelation 13 says in chapter 20 says oh, upon the forehead and you go oh come on oh, come on. you know the Bible is just there it is uh, Jeb Bush warns robots taking US jobs is not science fiction they're doing this with these self-driving cars and uber and all this other stuff it's insanity uh, watch out America this is dailymail.com watch out America robots are coming for your jobs reports report finds 38 percent of US jobs will be automated by 2030 uh, I don't think it's going to go that long but uh, that's another issue Stephen Hawking calls for world government to stop a robot uprising. You know, I don't, you know, the Christian Science Monitor. I don't know why that guy doesn't just get saved. I mean, just, I guess he's probably bitter for being in a wheelchair or something like that. I have no idea. Doesn't have the brains to, you know, he's an intelligent, super intelligent man. Are you a sinner? You know, <laughs> there's a thought. Elon Musk says humans must become cyborgs to stay relevant. Is he right? This guy is supposed to be some kind of a uh, sophisticated, high-tech guy or something like this. Um, if you need to see more proof that Bible prophecy is coming to pass, uh, you know, and say, I'm, I'm still not convinced. Well, you're probably not going to make it then, quite frankly. I mean, if you're an atheist or something like that, um, this is what the Bible said was going to happen. And so you can make fun of the Bible and do whatever you want, but you have to understand when they get into this level of, of uh, things, you know, a lot of people say, well, so once somebody takes the mark of the beast, there's something spiritual that happens. Well, I do believe that, but I also believe that there could actually be something physical. Um, they are able to control your brain. The Luciferians at the top, these types of people that are, that uh, hate God and, and, um, you know their god is science and of course money mammon and uh, they will you know if they can control your mind then maybe that's why the people in, in the book of revelation there's no chance for them to get saved so you know, your only chance out of this nightmare world that's coming is salvation through the lord jesus christ and uh, do it soon because once the church leaves um, there ain't going to be any more chance for you to be called out of here Right, you're going to have to endure to the end to be saved, according to Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. Okay? So, uh, you better get saved. 